So over here, you can see that I got some tables, some forms, some queries. And if you want to see their dependencies, let's say, for example, you want to know where the data are linked out, then what you can do is you can go around onto database tools right here. And over here, you can see object dependencies is an option. Once you click over here, then what happens is that over here, you can see it says object that depend on me. That means objects that is dependent on table one or table two. It's uh, queries generated from right here and an example project, as you can see right here. Similarly, if you want to see the dependencies of table two, you have to select table two first over here and then click on refresh. And over here, you can see table two. So now you know that table one is dependent upon this and then queries are there. So if something happens to this table right here, if you delete it, then all of these will be affected. What you can also do is see the objects that I depend on. That means um, the um, uh, let's say you want to see what you're dependent on. That is what this table is dependent on. You can see that it is dependent on table one. So a lot of uh, uh, data right here a lot of uh, queries and forms are dependent on this table but this table is just dependent on table one similarly you can do the same over here as well and if you were to refresh this you can see it is dependent on table two so you can go around over here select out the form right here let's say for example you go for the example report and over here you can see what the report is dependent on just like this and that is how you can keep track of object dependencies and you can expand and contract this as well. You can also pull this out if you want more feel up view right here and so forth. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.